Okay, so today we're going to go through uh, the payment methods list. So first of all, how you access it, you go up here to lists, down to customer and vendor profile, and then to payment method list. So payment methods here uh, in QuickBooks are payment methods that you use when it comes to your customers, not what you pay your vendors with, right? Because when you pay our, when we pay our vendors, uh, we can pay them by check, right? You can write a check. I can pay them by credit card in here, um, or I can do a bill payment, right? Those are the options there. And even when I do a bill payment, I can choose to pay by credit card, but I don't have the option to say I'm paying by, you know, you can choose by account, but I don't have a payment method in here to say I'm paying by credit card MasterCard on my MasterCard payable account, okay? So these are things that are only used on the customer side. All right, so uh, how do we set up a new payment method? So we can come down here and we say new. Uh, you can give it a payment method name. So let's just say EFT as an example or wire. Payment method type. Okay, so what this is are different types of payment methods that are standard. You can choose other credit card, other debit card, e-check, etc. Wire is kind of like cash. Why this is important is when you're going in to make your deposits. So if I go into banking and make my deposit, right, I can say sort my payment method or sort my payments by payment method. So it'll organize it and all the cash payments will be together as an example. So cash and check, Amex, MasterCard, Visa, Discover, other debit e-checks. So you can kind of see how that's organized there. But that's why it's important when you're choosing right when you're setting up a new one what your payment type is it's going to show up how it's organized there when you look at your undeposited funds okay uh, so once we have our different payment methods set up here oops I didn't save it so let's go ahead and actually save it this time okay so we have to think about where do we use these payment methods so of course we have on our customer uh, center right when we look at our uh, payment settings for our customers, we do have a preferred payment method so they can have a default payment method that comes up when we receive a payment from this customer. So if I were to come in here and say receive a payment, right, it's going to default to cash because that's what I have set up here in my preferred payment method. Okay. So at the receive payment stage, obviously here, this is where we see our payment methods. This is one of the areas, and now I have my more area and my wire payment method that I just created. Another area in QuickBooks where you might see that is on your, or where you will see it, is on your sales receipt, right? So a sales receipt transaction is essentially like taking a cash transaction. And so it's saying when you're taking this transaction, how are they paying you, right? Cash, check, credit card, and there's my wire again, okay? Keeps on clicking off of that. Okay, so now where we can use this also is in reporting. So I don't think I have had to, I think maybe once or twice in my whole career have I ever had somebody ask me this, uh, but I have had customers ask me, you know, how do your pay, your customers pay you, right? So usually what's happening when I get this question is my clients are changing banks, as an example, or maybe they are looking at changing their credit card processing method or something like that. And they want to know how many of their customers pay them via MasterCard, Visa, Amex, you know, wire transfer, EFT, whatever it is. So when we do that, we come in, we run a custom transaction detail report. Okay, and I'm just going to say for this fiscal year as an example, I'm going to total buy, and one of the total buys that I can do is payment method, and then say okay. So you can see here it breaks out for me my payments, and notice they're only uh, customer type payments, right? I don't see any bill payments on here. So a payment, if I double click, you can see it's a customer payment, it's when we receive payment. So I can see here I received $130,000 in cash <laughs> in two transactions. That's kind of scary. <laughs> uh, we have a whole bunch of checks that customers have paid us. Amex, very little. MasterCard, only one. And it's showing me both sides of the transaction. So I have to be aware of that, right? This is 
you know, both sides because it's a detail report. Um, and then each check only one. So if, if as an example, I'm trying to do, uh, you know, get a new credit card rate uh, and for the entire year, I only did one payment. I only took one payment on Amex and one payment on MasterCard. I mean, is it really worth it for me to investigate credit card rates? Now, if I'm trying to get my clients to pay me on credit card so they can pay me faster, then I would want to pay attention to how many paid me on check and potentially how many I could get to pay me on credit card. Okay. So that is your payment methods list.